hello Aquarius I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are happy Thursday so it's almost weekend time I hope you're gonna have a beautiful restful weekend with your loved ones Aquarius you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate so that's what we're gonna do first part of the video we're gonna ask what's coming towards you what you'll be dealing with facing and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey second part of this video we're gonna ask about your soulmate Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how they're doing at this time and how they are relating to you uh, at this time emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling currently, especially in relation to you, Aquarius? So let's see. Universe, please step in. Show very clear. And important messages for the sign of Aquarius. For Aquarius, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Aquarius? What will Aquarius be dealing with facing? And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Aquarius? This one wants to come out as extra message. Wow, this is you feeling stressed out, overburdened, a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. This is also you having a lot of responsibilities at your job or business, overburdened. Yeah, but look how strong you are. This is you waiting patiently. This is uh, you wanting to make necessary changes in your life so you don't feel so heavy with responsibilities. Yeah. Uh, this is you waiting patiently and being strong. This shows me you have a lot of stress in your life currently uh, from uh, different angles. You see stress from different angles. Uh, yeah, and this is you being patient and strong at the same time. A lot of you are dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, and Virgo. Wow, this is you not sure what's going to happen with your soulmate relationship. This is you uncertain where your relationship is heading um a lot of you are also dealing with water sign pisces cancer scorpio let's see over here universe please show us what's coming towards aquarius and how is aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah this is you doing a lot at your job or business overburdened with too many responsibilities but you handling it just well yeah look at this this is you ready to release all that stress you see this is you exhausted those are the uh ending cycles like it's not gonna get any worse than it has been you see 10 of swords with 10 of wands this is completion in your life of very difficult cycles yeah, this is you feeling tired, exhausted, uh, drained, trying to heal. You see, some of you may have been feeling sick or uh, exhausted lately, like um, drained. Um, your energy feels low, but it looks like recovery is coming. You're going to pick it up and you're going to feel better again. Wow, problems with communication with your soulmate showing up here. Yeah, this is you working too much, doing too much, having too many responsibilities on your shoulders. Yeah, this is something, there's something important on your mind that you're thinking of, wishing to accomplish, and it looks like it's going to happen, even though sometimes you feel negative, like you don't believe in yourself, like you don't believe you're going to accomplish it. Let me see what's going on with the moon card, and we're going to ask about them directly. You're trying not to worry about your soulmate situation. Um, yeah, you're trying to concentrate on other areas to distract your, distract your mind from other, uh, with other things in your life. Not worry too much. Yeah, look at this moon card. Oh, you love this person a lot, but this shows... Uh, feelings that are unexpressed at this time. This is you're not sure how your person feels about you. But look at this connection. Past life history with this person. Lover's energy. Strong soulmate connection from past lives. 
yeah you have other options out there you see this is other people interested in you for relationship uh something good coming to you aquarius and it has to do with love and emotional fulfillment yeah other uh, soulmates approaching you what you're gonna do with them will be up to you but other soulmates entering your life you feel like it's over between you and your current soulmate like it's not going to get better that's a, what you're feeling yeah like they don't care this is you dwelling on the past feeling sad mm. let me see what's going on with this person universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of aquarius for Aquarius, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Aquarius. The soulmate of Aquarius. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius? And how is the soulmate of Aquarius currently relating to Aquarius emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind? Let's see, Aquarius. Oh, so they also feeling the same thing, but they think you don't care about them. This is them depressed, heartbroken, sad, regretful, uh, dwelling on the past, uh, thinking that it's over. Mm. Yeah, this is them concentrating on you. Yeah, wanting to re-enter your life. Yeah, they don't want to fight or argue. They don't want to feel heartbroken. They don't want to feel depressed. Yeah, they're trying to figure out. So they have also the moon as well, but also they have a sun present, which means it will illuminate their path in making a decision regarding this connection with you. You see, uh, two of ones means being at a crossroads, trying to make a very important decision regarding this connection with you. You see, uh, they're kind of scared, fearful of making that decision not trusting themselves at this time, uh, not seeing clearly what should be done, but with the sun present uh, in the card next to the moon, shows that this person will see in due time how to proceed correctly, what to do about the situation with you. They are depressed, sad, feeling down, heartbroken. They feel a great need to communicate with you to clear the air because their sword is pointing up. They don't want to feel this heartbreak no this is them feeling depressed universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of aquarius and how is the soulmate of aquarius towards aquarius they love you a lot you see queen of cups this is them loving you deeply yeah praying hoping wishing for this to work out you see the star is holding the two of cups this person is hoping praying wishing for this to work out you guys are definitely not together right now. A lot of you are dealing with another Aquarius. Yeah, I see they want a new beginning. Feeling a lot of passion for you. Ugh, so both of you had this. Both of you had this depression, heartbreak, sadness, regret, and both of you had have this Ten of Swords. This is them feeling like they can't bear this anymore. Like there needs to be a solid communication to clear the air between you two. Yeah, they want to make amends with you, to say the least. If if the two of you can't be together, this person wants to at least make amends with you, to be on peaceful terms with you. Yeah, look at this. There was some serious uh, disconnection between you two. The tower is showing up. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Hmm. Also Capricorn showing up here. Wow. Uh, they feel you are guarded towards them emotionally. Like you don't want to talk to them. That's the perception of you. Like you don't want to deal with them, talk to them. Like your back is turned towards them. But yet they have so much passion for you. Yeah. When you, they showing up as queen of wands, no matter what sign or gender they are. It shows that this person has a lot of passion for you. And when you add the wand that they're holding as a queen and ace of wands underneath becomes two of wands. This person is trying to figure out how to uh, reconnect with you. They think you are uh, not wanting to reconnect with them. Yeah, that you don't want to uh, communicate. 
Yeah, that you're very closed off emotionally, not trusting emotionally, guarded with your heart. Let's see what's going on over here. Universe, what's going on currently with this soulmate of Aquarius? And how is this soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius? Oh, so this person has made some mistakes that they dwelling on. They regret deeply. Uh, this is deep regret, heartbreak, sadness, problems with communication, unable to move on fully with their life. Yeah, they want to re-enter your life with some kind of solid offer, but they slow to action. They want to see you. You see, this is them wanting to make amends with you at least. Yeah, so both of you also had the moon card. This is them scared, fearful, unable to see clearly what to do. Yeah, you see, they want to take action towards you. Wow, this is heavy, heavy energy that you two are feeling um, towards each other right now and misunderstanding. Yeah, see, they're holding on to you. I just looked on the bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles. This person's holding on to you, not releasing you or unable to release you for whatever reason. Um, Aquarius, we're going to go into your extended reading. And ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time. Whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life. Whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.